Hey everyone and welcome back to some more Surviving Mars. So, the Founder stage is going quite well. We need to wait three more days before we can get another passenger rocket from Earth. Meanwhile, let's work on some other things. I was actually thinking about building another drone hub in this area to be able to reach the water deposits eventually. Because one water deposit won't be enough. At least it won't last forever, even if we build another water extractor right here, that will just deplete it faster. 10,000 water might seem like a lot, but it's really not that much. Not to mention we'll need more for additional domes and so on. So, I think we are going to do just that. What do we need for a hub again? We need 12 metals and 8 electronics. Okay, so I think the best way to do it will be to build a storage right here. And then we'll move her over. That seems like the most convenient way to do it. In fact, let's just move the rover right away. And we can also grab the resources with our transport. No need for an actual depot, I suppose. Alright, let's go then. Let's see what the exact spot is going to be. So, drone hub. Something like this. We want to be fairly close to all that water, but there's also another water deposit to the north. That one isn't as useful because it's very low grade. So it's less important. Something like this will do. And to make a small overlap area. We'll have some depots over there. Alright, so like this. And then we just need to bring the resources. That's 12 metals and 8 electronics. So that's going to be your job. We got the metals right here. No, that's concrete. So 15 metals. And 10 electronics. Let's have a look. 21 in here. And that will do. We might as well bring some other stuff with us. Like 5 concrete or something. Just to not leave any empty space on the transport. And we'll just unload it right here. In fact, we don't even have to unload it, we can just literally move and leave the transport in range of the rover. That's all we have to do, I think. Yep, that's all we have to do. And now they will build the hub. We just need a cable, but that's fine. How's our power balance anyway? We have a slight shortage during the night, Set but that's scanned. okay. Another scan is done. We didn't find anything interesting. So, power cable. That will be a long one. There is a breakthrough that makes power cables free. And eliminates any power cable failures. It's a pretty nice one. Hopefully we'll be able to get that eventually. So, move the rover a little bit. We might need more metals for this. Yes, we are going to need more metals. Alright, that's fine. Let's go get more metals. No problem at all. We have plenty. Might as well just load up 30. What's going on with the polymer factory? Oh yeah, we just don't have enough people to work there. It's okay, we'll get more, we just need to wait. And how's the farm doing? Let's have a look. Up to 60% soil quality. Alright then. How much food do we have total? 12 right now. But we'll get 33 from the potatoes. And one more thing we can do is move some of these depots into the shared area with the other drone hub. That will just make things a little bit more convenient in the future. So let's just do that really quick. We'll move food, electronics and machine parts for now. So food up here. Electronics and machine parts. There, and we'll remove the other depots. Just get the transport to actually move all that stuff. We can create a transport route. So from here to here.
Oh right, he had to dump the metals. Right, I forgot about that. Let's pick up the metals. Right, the metals are supposed to be for the power cable. We'll take care of that first. One thing I'm missing in the game is the ability to prioritize storage space, like in RimWorld. That's not a thing that you can do. Hopefully it will be in the future. Okay, looks like this will be enough. It should be enough. There, it's done. Alright. Sector scanned. So I suppose now we can place some depots over here. We have a small overlap area. So let's place a metals depot first. Hold on, I need to see the exact area. Let's just move the transport. Alright, again. So metals first, because we got some metals on us. And we also got some concrete. There we go. So unload. That way both the drone hubs will be able to reach the resources. We will eventually get flying drones, but that's a fairly advanced technology. We don't even see it on the tech tree right now, so... I can't even research it if I wanted to. But it is a thing that you can do eventually, and it makes resource transportation much, much easier and more convenient. So now we can move the food, like so, then we'll move electronics and machine parts. And the founder stage is over. So, now we can get more people. Who do we want the most? Let's see. That's a good question. Maybe some geologists. Possibly. Can we see the actual exact breakdown? Yes, we can. Here, we got four scientists, four geologists, and three botanists. And one medic. I don't think we'll need engineers for this dome, because I don't really plan placing any production buildings inside this dome. As in, machine parts factory and things like that. Because that's an actual in-dome building. That's what you need engineers for. We're going to grab one more medic, just in case. Maybe one more botanist and the rest could be scientists. Then we could build another research lab. It's not a bad idea. We actually have one scientist working on the farm right now. Okay, so let's take a look. Oh wait, can we not do it yet? Oh wait, founder stage is not over yet. <laughs> right, two more days. That's okay. So, back to our construction. Now we can get one more drone hub and then start extracting water. There's no huge rush. We are not going to do it just yet. But it's nice to have that drone hub done. We can always turn it off if we really want to. Maybe we'll find more resources in this direction. That's definitely a possibility. In fact, let's maybe prioritize scanning up here. Yeah, we can scan these two sectors. Well, this one at least does 47% tower boost. 62%, 75%. Okay, this will do. Carry on then. Research complete. Oh yeah, actually, we need some engineers for the polymer factory. Right. And the research is done, so that's magnetic filtering. What's next? That's the outdome farm. Do we really need that right now, though? I don't think we do. Let's actually go directly for the Stirling generator, because that's very useful. Oh, and the shuttle hub tech is here. Right. Let's queue up the shuttle hub, because that's just so useful. We can build a drone assembler, we'll definitely need that. 
so CO2 jet propulsion, then drone printing. And then probably the machine parts factory, because we'll obviously need that, sooner or later. We still got some cheap techs. Oh, actually, we should grab life from Mars. Because that's only 1000, and it will give us more applicants on Earth. So let's add it to the start of the queue with control click. Because that's only 1000. Hopefully, we'll find some more Second anomalies. Anomaly yep, there we go. <laughs> I said that, and here it is. Nice one. We need that to happen more often, clearly. So that should give us at least 1000 research. That will give us life from Mars immediately, basically. Everything is looking good so far. How many drones do we have total anyway? Not that many. We could grab more. 17 in this hub, 11 in this one, and 6 in our newest hub. Yeah, I wouldn't mind more drones. We can get some from Earth. 22 polymers. Well, the factory will be operational as soon as we get more colonists. So in two days or so. Research complete. There we go. We got the research. And that will give us life from Mars immediately. And next up is going to be the Stirling Generator. Very good source of power. Back you go. Pipe leak reported. Yeah, we will be getting pipe leaks fairly regularly. That's why it's generally a good idea to have a decent surplus of water and oxygen. It shouldn't be a huge problem, because that's what we got oxygen tanks and water towers for, but it's just something to keep in mind. You can't really avoid pipe leaks. They are just going to happen one way or the other. Is someone repairing it? There should be plenty of metal in the area. Oh wait, is that out of range of this? John Hub? Yeah, it actually is. Okay. Right, so let's move some of that metal, shall we? Metal's depot. And we'll move some of it. Just so that it's in range. Uh, hold on, again. Load. And unload. Wait, what? Why is that not working? Oh, right, I didn't click the metals, whoops. <laughs> there, now we'll just move some of it. We can increase the transport capacity to 45 eventually, but it's not really a priority. There, now the metals are in range of both the drone hubs. There we go. We can move some more. Sector scanned. There's another scan. Oh, nice. We discovered some deposits. Underground metals, underground metals. High grade. That's not too bad. It's a little bit far away. And it's not like we need metals anytime soon. But it's useful, I suppose. Okay, 10 more hours of the founder stage. And I think that's quite enough now. I don't want to move all of it. In fact, there aren't enough left in there. Let's just move 30 back. To the original depot. Although, it's not like it matters, actually. We should just completely remove this one. Yeah, it doesn't need to be there. <laughs> unload. Yeah, we'll move everything. So load and then unload. And then just salvage that depot. Because we want to use this in the shared area. And this one shouldn't be a thing at all. Just salvage it. And we'll do the same with the others. So let's do that. 
Load food and unload food. Off you go. And salvage. For the first time, the door towards the stars has been born on Mars. It's truly a unique miracle. Effect: The colony has been evaluated positively. Additional colonists can be called from Earth. So that's the first milestone achieved. First Martian born. Nice one. And now we can get additional colonists. So let's see. We are definitely going to need a few engineers. I would say at least three, maybe four. Right now we have zero. Maybe one more botanist, one more medic. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's see. Review. Engineer hypochondriac. Maybe not. I'm not going to be too picky because we won't be able to do that for long. So this person wants gaming and we won't be able to provide that in this particular dome. Yeah, as you can see, there aren't that many specializations, so we can't really afford to be too picky. Let's get one botanist. We'll get one backup medic, because we only have one at the moment. Then some engineers. Hippie. Okay, that's fine. It's double rations. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay, at least three engineers, I would say. Do we even have more than three in here? I don't think we do. Alright then. So three engineers, one botanist, one medic, maybe another geologist or two. This person is an alcoholic. But that's pretty much the only geologist we have over here. Alright, so that's six out of twelve. We could also grab people with no specialization. But I'm thinking maybe additional scientist or two. That's 8 out of 12. I don't think we'll need an officer. Alright, let's see who the best people with no specialization are. At least people without any negative perks. Increased performance boost when at high morale. I like that one. This one's fine as well, that's 11, one more person. Gains a temporary morale boost every time a new technology is researched. Yep, that's fine. So that's 12. We technically only have one residence on Mars, but that's okay. We have time to build another. Launch anyway. Alright, so now we are going to build more houses. I think we'll just build apartments. Yep. We'll have way more space that way. So that's 10 polymers and 35 concrete. That will not be a problem. So get to work. It's a rough life here on Mars. Nobody knows the trouble Can't I've seen. For addiction. The founder gained or has the alcoholic trait. Okay. Well, that's. A little bit annoying, but oh well, we can deal with that. Work performance lowered by 10. Can be caused by sanity breakdowns. Well, alright. Minus 10 is not a big deal. You get like minus 50 for working the wrong specialization. You can reduce that penalty later on with a tech. But the penalty for working at the wrong place is pretty harsh. So, the apartments. How much concrete do we have? Probably a lot. Yep, a lot. How's our food? We got 27. And how's the farm doing? Doing fine. Nowhere close to 100% soil quality just yet, but that's okay.
almost 50% of the way. So these guys will also bring 12 food with them. They always bring their own food with them. It's probably not necessary right now, but it's a nice bonus, I suppose. That generator requires maintenance. How's the research going? Stirling generator research is almost done. Yeah, we'll need a few more. They are pretty good. Oh, nice, rare metals. That's a little bit far away. But I suppose that's okay. Why is there over all the way over here? <laughs> Well, back you go. And where's the explorer? Right here. Pipe leak reported. Yep, another pipe leak. Or found the drones. Oh, now I have to move them manually. The rover should have picked them up. What's Research going on with that? Complete. That's a little bit weird. He should have picked them up before leaving. They still have battery. So, come on. That's a little bit weird. Well, anyway, we unlocked the Stirling generator. Next up, we will be working on the shuttle hub. That will be a huge improvement for our transport. I'm a little bit confused what exactly happened with that rover. <laughs> but alright, doesn't matter, I suppose. Now they boarded him. Alright, our rocket is here, so let's land. Not too close because of dust, but we can land in range. So up here is fine. Cable fault reported. The apartments are waiting. We can have up to 24 residents in the apartments. The comfort is a little bit lower, because the comfort in the living quarters is 50, in the apartments 35, but New we can have way more people in the apartments. And here they are. Oh, is that a special trait? Uh, no, I don't think so. They will show up down here. Some traits like genius, which provide research, or I think celebrity, which provides money, will show up down here when you have colonists with that trait. So if you see someone pop up down here, that's like a special person that provides extra bonuses, usually to the entire colony. So now the polymer factory will be working. I don't think we can afford to work more than one shift right now. Probably not. Let's wait for daytime. Oh, insufficient fuel. Okay. It should be getting fuel though, we have a lot of fuel. So that's not exactly a problem. Do we still not have enough people? Hold on a moment. What can we change around a little bit? How about the research lab? We only got one shift in here. Okay. That's 25 colonists. And we got zero unemployed. Well, that was quick. We got four people working at the space bar. That's probably not necessary, to be honest. Oh wait, the polymer factory is straight up turned off. That was the problem. But the lack of people is still a bit of a problem. Okay, that's four working on one shift. One shift should be enough for now. We'll still get more with the next rocket. You might have to raise their comfort a little bit though. Average comfort 51. I mean, we do have the spacebar. Pipe leak reported. But that probably won't be enough to keep them too happy. In any case, 25 colonists now, that's progress. We'll refuel the rocket and launch it right away. 
Now, the next thing we are going to need are rare metals, because that's the main way to actually make money. Not to mention, rare metals are also needed to manufacture electronics. Meaning our next dome will be down here. Like, literally down here. In fact, we can probably just start working on that pretty soon. It will be in range of the drone hub. So, that's fine. But let's wait for more polymers first. Or we can always grab some from Earth. Sector scanned. We'll launch the rocket as soon as it's refueled. Unfortunately, rare metals are the only thing you can export. Alright, off we go. Back to Earth. Bye bye. More scans. We are not finding a lot of anomalies. One thing we can do is build another sensor tower up here. Might be on the verge Mission of evaluation, a new, new dawn. Age. And we have to be the ones who ride the crest of that wave. So here's the goal we got. Have 40 technologies researched at Sol 100. Currently researched 20. These goals vary from game to game, and it's not like a hard objective, but you will basically get score based on your progress on day 100. You won't fail if you don't have 40 techs, or whatever goal you might get. In my other game on Twitch, I had a goal to get 200 colonists before day 100, which is probably a lot harder than this one, but you don't straight up fail if you don't get that many. The more you get, the better, the higher your score is going to be. You will basically get a score on the milestones panel. So that's how it works. What we could do is build a dome dedicated to research. And that's probably what we're going to do. But first, let's actually build a second dome in the first place. Our daily production of polymers is not that impressive. We could work two shifts. How's our food anyway? 36. I'll probably just bring another batch of colonies as soon as we are able to. In fact, we can just do that right away. We have one rocket waiting on Earth. So, let's see. We can accept all trades. I don't really want to accept all flows. The really bad ones are disabled. And I'm going to keep them that way. So that's 22 out of 66. Okay, that's acceptable. I suppose we can start accepting middle-aged people. That's 33 out of 66. Alright, review. So a few more engineers. Do we have non-middle-aged engineers? Probably only like one. Yep. Lazy and a gamer. <laughs> Realistic game. Okay, well, we'll get the engineer. Maybe another one. A scientist or two. Since we can always work another shift at the research lab. One more botanist. Oh, this one has sexy. Greatly increased birth rate. But also lazy, which is a bit annoying, but fine. I can live with that. One more geologist for extractors. And we'll grab a few people with no specializations. Here, greatly increased birth rate. Survivor, that one also isn't bad in case of any problems. That's 10 out of 12. Party animal, that's okay, we have the space bar. Here, that's good enough. So launch. And that will be the dome almost done, basically. I mean, we could still build more apartments or living quarters, but I think I'd rather reserve this section for other things, like services. This will be enough people for one dome, I think. 
All right, well, carry on then. Now, what if we enable another shift? It will increase production, but I will have to disable a shift somewhere. We could disable one shift at the spacebar. I suppose that's acceptable. There we go, that's 3.1 polybear production. And here you can see the penalties for working in the wrong specialization. They are pretty bad. So it generally makes sense to specialize the domes, but it's kind of hard to specialize the first one. Definitely a good idea later on though. So 50% already. How's our food? 32 food. Okay, looking good. Now, about that sensor tower. Buildings with depleted deposits. Oh yeah, concrete. How much concrete total do we have? 433. Okay. Well then, let's salvage the extractor and then we'll move it elsewhere. There you go. Unfortunately, we can't clear it just yet because we don't have decommission protocol. But that's fine, we'll get it eventually. It's not really a huge priority at the moment. We could re-enable this one, which is not a terrible idea. Sector scan. In fact, you know what, Select let's do that. Sector to scan. Another scan is done, but we didn't find anything overly exciting. So, speaking of scans, let's build another sensor tower, all the way to the north. Like, as far north as possible. Over here, close to the rocks. There, yeah, that works. We can do that. I think we have the materials in range. We might need to get some electronics. Yep. So let's move like one or two electronics. Well, five, I suppose. We can't move less than that. Five electronics. And I guess we can move some concrete. Might as well do that, yeah. We have plenty. Over 400 at the moment. And go unload. Once we get to the shuttle hub, we won't really have to do any of that. It's still useful to use the transport, because the shuttles aren't nearly as effective when moving large quantities of materials. So the transport will still be useful with the drones. With the flying drones, but we won't have to do it for like one electronic or whatever. Alright, that's good enough. So now we'll get to the second tower. And that will increase our sensor boost significantly. Hopefully we'll find some anomalies. We still got a lot of sectors to scan. Here, 227% boost. 186, yep, that's pretty good. Anything above 100. Here. We'll work on all of that. And the rocket is here, so let's land right away. And that's going to be basically a full dome. We'll just keep an eye on any complaints they might have. They couldn't satisfy drinking. Well, we will enable another shift at the spacebar. We might as well just do it right away. And we might even need some additional workplaces for them. No, it's fine. 4.5 daily polymer production now. Yep, that's much better. We are up to 22. So this would be a good moment to start another dome. However, that's also going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.